Hello everyone, today I have three different braid looks for Grace. Let's get started. Here are just some basic hair utensils that you guys can use. I will put in the description some uses for them, but I will only be using the hairbrush, hair ties, and comb. So this first hairstyle can be done as one braid in the back or two on the side. I'll be doing it just two on the sides, and it will just be your basic French braid. I mean, she goes to Paris, so I think it'd be pretty nice if I just did a simple two French braids for her, and I think it would look really cute. So you want to start off by just sectioning off half her hair, brushing it out, and how to French braid. Taking your comb, section out just the top portion of her hair, brush it out, and then break it up into three sections. Now, you're going to normally braid the first two strands, but then once it comes to bringing over the next, you want to add a section of hair from the side. Every time you're going to bring a piece of hair over, you want to add another piece in. Keep going like this, angling it down, and then just keep braiding when you're done. Again, you're just going to collect a piece of hair out on the side every time you are going to bring a hair in. So as you can see, I'm just going up and over, not up and over, I'm just turning them in. And you want to be grabbing the pieces around her face so it really looks nice and ties the whole look together. And I'll just put this on time lapse now. So here's the finished hairstyle from the front view. It looks really nice. You can just kind of see the start of it. And then just really normal. It looks really nice. And I just think it's a really fun braid style for her. And just because I just did a French braid, I'll just show you quickly how to do it to, um, on the back of her head. So I'm just collecting a little bit of hair from each side. I don't, not really a split duck hairstyle, but just a very small layer of hair here. Splitting that into three pieces, you're just going to normally French braid just like you did before. This time you're just going to be starting in the middle and grabbing hair from each side. Make sure it, does, make sure it doesn't bunch up in the back or on the sides. So the reason I didn't really talk through this one is just because it's the exact same thing, just you collect hair from the top. And here it is, it's just a really pretty classic French braid all the way down, and this is just a really pretty hairstyle for Grace. So this next hairstyle is two fishtail braids, and I've already just separated hair into two parts. Taking this part, you're going to separate it into two sections, and basically you're just going to be taking out little pieces from each side of her hair, and crossing them over. So this side, you're going to bring a little piece over and hold it underneath the rest of the hair. Bring it over from the other side and then bring a piece from this side over. Don't use really big pieces or else it will just look like a normal braid because a fishtail is just a way to get a very tight um, normal braid. Continue down on both sides until you finish and secure it with an elastic. So here is the finished look, and both of these hairstyles, the French braid and these fishtail braids, can be done as one braid in the back, a braid wrapping around her head, and in two braids. So here's the front view, and as I turn her around, you can just see the fishtail braids. They look pretty simple, and they are, but I just think it looks really good on Grace. So this last hairstyle is a Dutch braid, and a Dutch braid is a braid where instead of bringing the pieces over, you're braiding them under. And I'll be doing this ha hairstyle wrapping around her head. So I've just started by brushing out her hair and picking up a section of hair. Separating it into two sections, instead of braiding over, we will be braiding under. So practically you're making a French braid, but full bringing the hair under instead of over. Okay, so if you don't know how to do a French braid, what you're doing is every time you're going to bring a piece of hair under, you're going to add a piece of hair. And instead of going over, you'll just be going under. Make sure to angle this hairstyle down and around her head and then either tie it off with a ponytail at the end or just finish braiding at the end. And I'll put this in time lapse. So here's the finished look. It just looks like a normal braid in the front wrapping around and I did finish the entire braid. And as I just turn her around, it has this extroverted look to it. 
and just continues wrapping around her head. You can also use hairstyle in two braids or as one going in the back, but you will see the extroverted like braid part if you do it on the back or around her head. But if you just do it in two normal braids without gathering any hair, you will not see much of a difference. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe for more videos, and have an awesome day.